Once upon a time, all oh, a long, long time ago, I think I'll stand up to tell this story. There were three little boys. The oldest boy's name was Frederick. And his uh, next boy's name was Fritz, or Franz. And the little boy's name, like some of you little boys there, his name was Fritz. And their daddy was a shoemaker. They called him a cobbler in those days. He made pretty shoes. And they were very, very poor. And as the story takes place today, my goodness, it was snowing all the snow was putting out to the rooftop. And this was over in Europe, way over there near the Alps. And they didn't have any money that was getting close to Christmas. And the cobbler didn't know what to do to get anything for the children to eat for Christmas. All they had in the house was a little porridge, just like oatmeal. And uh, he made that for them when he was cooking it on a few sticks of wood he had left because he had no more money to buy wood. He didn't know what to do when there was a knock, knock, knock on the door. And when he opened the door, there was a big soldier. Soldier says, you're to come right away, Mr. Cobbler and fix the prince's shoes. He's going dancing, and she wants her shoes all fixed up. Well, boy, when the soldier said that, the cobbler knew he had to go right away. So what he did, he called Frederick, that's the oldest brother, he says, Frederick, now I want you to be a good little man, take care of your two brothers, while I go to fix the queen's, the, the prince's shoes. That's the queen's daughter. And he says, I might be gone a couple days, and there's a little bit of porridge there, and there's no more wood, so you all get in bed and cover over with the blanket. He says, now, it isn't very thick. In fact, it looked like a piece of Swiss cheese because it had holes in it. So that's what he did. They got in bed. He says, whatever you do, don't open the door. Well, he was only gone a short time, and the boys were in bed huddling up to each other trying to stay cold when there was a knock, knock, knock on the door. Well, they didn't know what to do because their daddy had said not to leave anybody in. But about that time they heard a real squeaky voice saying, let me in, let me in, let me in that hole. Rich uh, went and looked out the window, the little one. He says, there's a tiny little man out there. He's got a great pink high hat on, like a stove pipe, and my goodness, he has a beard pretty good, looks like Santa Claus. So Frederick thought, we can't leave that little man out there and freeze. So he went to the door, and he opened it, because he knew that his daddy would want him to let somebody in out of the cold. And as soon as a man came in, he says, let me under that blanket. And boy, he jumped up on the bed and gave one rip, and there the covers were off. And then he ate all the porridge, and little Fritz started to cry. But no, not one of the boys objected. They were just nice to give everything to this man. And all of a sudden, the man jumped out of bed, and he says, Frederick, go over there and stand in the corner on your head. And when Frederick did, guess what happened? All the oranges and apples and pears and all the kinds of fruit you like the best started tumbling out of his pocket. Then he yelled to Francis, he said, jump in that corner there and stay in your head. He did. And all the kind of candy that you children love the best came out of his pocket. Then he yelled, Fritz, you stand in on your head in the corner. And guess what happened when Fritz did? Silver coins and gold coins and all kind of money came out. Well, they looked around to say thank you to the little leprechaun, the little drawer, and he got out the door by magic, and he was yelling, Merry, Merry Christmas to all the cobbler's boys, and a Merry Christmas to Mr. Cobbler. And that's saying his story for a day. Now it's club time. We just have time to hit the club fan. All right, the Queen Plate Club first. How many joined the Queen's Place Club? Okay, now how many joined the, uh, let's see, let's see those hands again. Okay, now the Thank You Club. Okay, now, how many joined that club? My, oh my, now the, uh, 
the end of the thank you club. Or oh, hate the pickup club, is that? Okay, how many joined the pickup club this week? All right, now the most important club of all. Here, bring Jeffy. Now, I just wonder how many of you joined the pickup club. And uh, prayer club is the most important club of Santa's always club, so I'm glad to join. And don't forget, boys and girls, I'm at the Harrisburg Shopping Center today, and I'll be there till 9 o'clock tonight. And then on Monday, I'll be at Olmstead Plaza. And Jeffy, I'm going to let you help wave here to the camera. You wave over to those red lights like Santa Claus is doing. And if the good Lord be willing, I'll see you at the store on TV next Saturday at 12.30. And may God bless each and every one of these good little boys and girls everywhere. Bye-bye. Today's visit with Santa Claus was presented by the Joe Motors Friends Stores of Central Pennsylvania. There's one near you. Yeah, I'll see if I can back it up and find you. How do you back it up?